In this video, we'll be demonstrating the aerodynamic design of an axial compressor rotor. Specifically, this presentation is about the main design steps for a transonic axial compressor rotor within CF Turbo. We have defined an example compressor case called the CF Turbo Rotor 21 with similar operating conditions to the NASA Rotor 37. First, you create a new project choosing the compressor design module. Insert the design point of the fan. The design point is defined by mass flow rate, total pressure ratio, and rotational speed. In this case, the fluid is air at 20 degrees Celsius. You can choose any fluid properties by choice or by applying fluids database. The rotational direction or inflow swirl can be specified if required. On the right side, you'll see the general machine type based on a specific speed calculation. In the Cordier diagram, fundamental relations of specific speed, specific diameter, flow coefficient, and work coefficient are shown. Now we add a new component, selecting the new axial impeller option. The main dimensions window opens. In this example, we use an unshrouded standard impeller, setting the tip clearance to 0.4 millimeters. We have two general options for blade design, airfoil or mainline mode. Here we have chosen the airfoil method. In CF Turbo, there is also an option for multi-stage design, including contra-rotating impellers. To calculate the impeller main dimensions, CF Turbo uses numerous empirical correlations in the parameters section. In most cases, non-dimensional approximation functions are taken from textbooks, research papers, and our own data. Here we use the work coefficient to calculate the impeller diameter and a diameter ratio function to get the hub diameter. Additionally, Several empirical efficiency correlations are implemented too to get reasonable initial values of the impeller main dimensions. The impeller main dimensions are computed. In CF Turbo, all geometrical parameters can be adjusted manually if required. Here we modify hub diameter and impeller diameter slightly. This will only have a minor influence on subsequent design steps. The meridional view allows the design of the meridional contours of the impeller. On the right side of the window, there are diagrams for area progression, static moment, and curvature, which can assist you in shaping the meridional contour of the impeller. A 3D preview is available too. All Bezier points can be modified numerically by changing numbers in the pop-up window. The user can adjust axial length of the impeller as well as shape and position of leading and trailing edges in mainline design mode. For airfoil design mode, which is used here, one has to set only the limits of the axial positions. Cord length, stagger angle, and camber angle of the blades will be calculated. Now we add hub solids. For example, we can split the curves or transform them into Bezier splines. For demonstration purposes, we're choosing a very simple model of the hub contour. This tool is very flexible for modeling hub and shroud geometry, if applicable. In the blade properties, at first we set the number of blades which is an input value with strong effects on the blade profile geometry. The number and the distribution of spans in radial direction must be defined. Next, a method must be selected to calculate the radial equilibrium from hub to shroud, the CUCM distribution. The circumferential and meridional velocity components can be adjusted to balance pressure and centrifugal forces. In many cases, it is useful to choose the variable load option that enables you to shift the blade loading from hub to shroud. Here we don't modify the free vortex option. In the profile window, the user selects blade profile. It could be done from a knockup profile catalog or by point-based data. 
user-defined blade profiles can be easily implemented. For this demo, we have selected a NACA 65006 profile. In this case, we have adjusted the solidity LT, the relation between cord length and pitch. Profile properties stagger angle, cord length, and camber angle can be calculated in automatic mode or adjusted manually. In the right side, there are several diagrams with aerodynamic values and criteria to evaluate the profiles, for example, solidity, Reynolds number, or Dehaller criteria, among others. In the next window, there is the actual status of the blade profiles, showing more detailed information on the current design. For example, we can evaluate blade thickness, blade angles on leading and on trailing edges, blade passage area, a blade-to-blade -blade view, and so on. For NACA profiles, there is a possibility to set a finite thickness on the trailing edge of the blade. Here we set a value of 0.5 millimeters. Blade sweeping is a possibility to deform the blade profiles in meridional and in circumferential position. Different profile stacking modes are available. It is mainly done to improve the acoustics of a specific rotor design, but also to use full freedom of the design space. The calculated empirical acoustic benefit is shown on the upper right side of the window. However, usually this goes along with some losses in efficiency and performance. Now we can see the rotor in its actual state in our 3D viewer. On the left side of the window, you have the model tree with all components and subcomponents. This allows for easy navigation, renaming, and graphical adjustment. The user can modify color and translucency for each component or subcomponent. To prepare the CFD setup, first we add an inlet and an outlet extension. It is mainly needed for numerical reasons to minimize the influence of the boundary conditions to the flow in the rotor domain itself. For this purpose, we apply the stator module of CF Turbo, which can be used to make veined and unveined turbo machinery components like pipes or guide vanes. The inlet pipe should have a certain length in order to prevent an impact from the boundary conditions to the fan stage itself when running a flow simulation. The outlet domain is recommended to be even longer due to the inherent swirl downstream of the rotor. Just like in the previous design steps, the model can be shown and updated in our 3D viewer. The final design step would be model finishing in CF Turbo, including fillet design. Here we will set a fillet radius of 1 mm at the hub-to-blade intersection. Model finishing means a geometrical operation to create solid models for the fluid domain and for the material domain in excellent quality. This finishing is a precondition for many geometry and export formats. It will be used often, but not for all CAD or CFD systems. For some code export formats, the model finishing will be done automatically. Let's save the model before we export the geometry and prepare the simulation before we open the export window. CF Turbo has export formats to neutral formats like IGIS, STEP, STL, or Parasolid to all major CAD systems like AutoCAD Inventor, CATIA, Creo, NX, and SOLIDWORKS and to nearly any commercial and open source CFD code that is capable of running turbo machinery simulations. The geometry of the CF Turbo Rotor 21 is in ongoing development. There will be different derivatives to study performance, efficiency, shaft power, torque, and transient flow patterns in the blade rows. For the CFD investigations, we will use ANZUS CFX. Results will be presented separately at a later date. Please note that CF Turbo is in general made for multi-stage axial compressor design, currently for up to five stages. As part of our general software development strategy, we will continuously enhance the capabilities to empower turbo machinery designers more and more. 
This slide gives an actual overview of important CF Turbo export interfaces to CFD codes. The list will be extended if required. There is a fully bidirectional integration of CF Turbo into ANZUS Workbench available. The parametric modeling of CF Turbo can be addressed for meshing, simulation, design exploration, and optimization. Additionally, Turbo Machinery optimization workflows using CF Turbo, ANZA CFX, or Fluent and OptiSlang can be easily established outside ANZUS Workbench. Design and CFD simulations can be highly automated running CF Turbo in combination with Samerix MP and any commercial or open source optimizer. Putting CF Turbo together with Star CCM Plus and HEADS, which are both products from Siemens, does offer another excellent capability for turbo machinery design exploration and optimizations. As you've seen, CF Turbo is a user-friendly, straightforward tool for axial compressor design. To register for a free trial and to learn more about our engineering services,